On Friday, the president came out very clearly in favor of religious freedom in the country and the right to build a mosque near ground zero. That includes the right to build a place of worship in a community center on private property in lower Manhattan in accordance with local laws and ordinances. This is America. And our commitment to religious freedom must be unshakable. And on Saturday, that commitment got shaken a little bit. I was not commenting, and I will not comment on the wisdom of making a decision uh, to put a mosque there. What, what, me? Did I say I was in favor of the mosque? Mosque? What name so? This is classic Obama. Thread the needle, try to find the political middle. He found a way to cover himself with the people that say they have the right to build a mosque there, and at the same time, cover himself with the people that say that they shouldn't build a mosque there. Now, let me tell you what Obama should have said. He should have said, did I stutter? Yes, I said they have the right to build a mosque right there. You wanna know why? Because we're better than the people who attacked us on 9-11. They do hate our freedoms, one of which is the freedom of religion. They don't want a people to have a choice in religions. We do. Remember, it's in our Constitution, a, do a document that conservatives claim to love before. Now conservatives have conveniently forgotten. And today, Newt Gingrich said this. Nazis don't have the right to put up a uh, sign next to the Holocaust Museum in, in Washington. We would never accept the Japanese mm. putting up a site next to Pearl Harbor. Right. Uh, there's no reason for us to accept a mosque next to the World Trade Center. Then he took it a step further in the New York Times saying, quote, it's like putting a Nazi sign next to a Holocaust Museum. That's just disgusting. He just compared the entire Muslim religion to Nazis. Can you imagine if he did that with any other religion? Can you imagine if anyone argued that Jews shouldn't be allowed to build a temp temple somewhere because their entire religion is guilty? How about if we didn't allow a church to go up anywhere near the Olympic site in Atlanta? Because fundamentalist Christian Eric Rudolph did the Olympic bombing there. Remember, he also bombed abortion clinics in Sandy Springs, Georgia and Birmingham, Alabama, based on his fundamentalist views. Same with Scott Roeder, who killed abortion provider Dr. Tiller in Wichita, in Wichita, Kansas. They are both fundamentalist Christians who did it for their religion. Should we not allow any churches to be built in Birmingham or Wichita because of what Rudolph and Roeder did in the name of their church? I know what you're thinking, but wait, that isn't my belief. That isn't my church. That isn't my view of Christianity. Why should you punish me or my church for what some crazy person did? Exactly! Muslims today are thinking the same exact thing. Why are you putting us all in the same boat as these crazy Al-Qaeda terrorists? What do we have to do with their bombing? An average Muslim mom has about the same in common with Al-Qaeda as you do with Eric Rudolph. The problem with the people fighting against this mosque is that they're assuming that all Muslims are guilty. They seem to be assuming that all mosques must agree with Al-Qaeda, when the founders of this mosque say they're doing the exact opposite, trying to foster better understanding between the religions. If you shut them down, what does that say about what you think of all Muslims? Any Muslim? Are they all guilty? How can they prove their innocence to you? How would you like it if you were judged like that? And remember, these people are not foreigners. They're just as American as you and I. If you get to judge their religion, does someone else get to judge yours? I thought conservatives in this country claim to care deeply about religious freedom. Did you mean just your religion? Do you understand that's exactly what the founders were trying to avoid? They wanted to build a society where anyone can practice their religion, whether we agree with them or not. That's at the heart of what it means to be an American. So if you don't believe that, how American are you? Because this isn't about what you think of Islam. This is about what you think of our country and what we stand for. Do you believe in the promise of America or don't you? Do you believe in our Constitution or don't you?